Okay, everybody, today in this video, we're going to go over the dashboard and dispatching in Towbook. First, we're going to take a look at the dashboard, and this is just giving you a brief overview of what's going on. You see you've got your waiting calls dispatched in route on scene, towing calls completed and canceled. This is just giving you an overview of what's going on. Quick look. Uh, while we're here, we're going to go check out the notifications. If you have any notifications from the system, they'll be here. Notifications can be set up to say, for instance, you want a notification when a driver arrives on scene or when a call is completed. Uh, there's a lot of different notifications you can set up and we'll get into that when we get over to the settings tab. Here you have a help and support button where if you click on that, it'll give you over here. You can go to support.towbook for online library of support articles. Um, you can shoot them an email. You can give them a phone call. When you do call in, you are usually going to be asked for your towbook account number, and that can be found right here. So remember your account number, click the little help and support thing over here, and it'll take you right to it. So for the dashboard, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot there. There is the little message icon over here where if you wanted to open a chat, you could do so. What's really cool about Towbook is if you just go ahead and give them a call on this number right here, all their support is US based and it's 24 seven. So someone usually answers the phone pretty quick. Or if you leave a message, they actually do call you back. So that's pretty cool about Towbook. I like it. All right. On to the next one. We're going to have dispatching and we'll get into some detail here. First thing you'll notice here is you have current calls, which display all calls that are currently in play. You have calls that are waiting. What a waiting call is, is a call that has been created or sent over by a motor club that has not been dispatched to a driver yet. Active calls, that will show you all calls that are currently active. Scheduled calls, if you schedule a call or if you have a call that's been scheduled for you, those can show here. You have canceled calls, and if you see here, canceled calls um, shows all the calls that you had that ended up canceling for one reason or another. Then you can have quotes here as well if you ever quote jobs. And then I skipped past this one. This is the completed calls. So these are all calls that have been completed recently by yourself or one of your drivers however you're running your business uh, real quick what we'll do in here is what i want you to know is that you can go ahead and go and click on any call like that and it'll expand it and show you a little bit more information like when it was completed when uh when it was assigned when you were supposed to be there i'm pretty sure that's the time it was assigned the time that you said you would be there the time it actually got completed so that's kind of cool to have that information a po number if there's one associated whoever the dispatcher is will be there gives you contact information for the customer as well as a phone number gives you notes on the call here you'll know what kind of car it is you're going to know the source where they're located at what the reason for the call is who the driver is on that the driver's truck which i have here it's not really that that important the account that it came from, whether it's a motor club, a cash account, whatever it is. If you have this feature set up in here, it can give you sometimes, it'll give you a time that it predicts that you'll arrive. It'll show you the balance. And then here's some notes from the motor clubs uh, as far as coverage amounts and whatnot. You can modify this. You can update the status of it here. You can work with your payments here, you can manage your notes, you can print the call, you can email it, and you can also view the call on a map over here. Down here, you can also modify it. You can generate a receipt. You can email it, map it, see photos that are associated with it. If for some reason you need to undo the completing of the call, that happens there. And if you click more, you can see the history of the call. You can delete it, you can duplicate it, print it, see files if these are uh, features that i don't have activated on my tillbook account but they have like damage forms accident reports you can push to quickbooks if you use quickbooks uh, you can see payments here you can view the account you can do a replay and you can also send customer surveys and those things we'll get into and explain a little bit more but basically a replay gives you a map view 
of your driver as they were where they were at when they went to that call and afterwards and i think it usually pulls up like a 24 hour um run of everything that your driver does so in here what we'll do to start is we'll work on modify when you click on modify the call what's going to happen is it comes up it'll show you a lot more detail now when it was received when it was dispatched at what point it went in route at what point it went on scene uh, at what point it went to towing at what point it went to complete it um, it'll also show you the account there and those are your motor club accounts and we'll get into how those all get set up and whatnot if there's any information that comes across from the motor club like a po number or the coverage amount you'll get contact information um you can also click this and you can say you can have emails addresses stuff like that for customer contact information if you want to save that for a later date or use for your own marketing purposes uh, you can remove the contact you can add a second contact so there's a lot of different things you can do in here this is the pickup location and this is where the customer is going to be at that needs the assistance here you can add another address if it's going to say uh, it's a tow and it's going to go from there to for whatever reason this motor club always puts in the same address twice that doesn't really need to be there so we'll get rid of it um, but you can add a second address if you're towing it to another location this is the um, pickup location if you click on that it's going to pop it up on a map here so it's going to show you suggested and it's also going to show you a gps coordinates you can choose which one you want to use uh, this one's kind of cool because what this does, if you click that, it will send a text message to the customer asking them to send a location to you. So sometimes you get a call and it's out on the freeway or it's somewhere weird where you look at the map and it just doesn't look right. Um, you can always request the customer to share their location with you and, it, and that works out pretty good. Uh, this is another similar thing here for entering a destination. Then you have the reason, priority, invoice numbers, ETAs, vehicle information here. Um, see, this was a Jeep Cherokee driver, the driver truck here, notes that come across from the motor clubs, and then you have the billing information. Uh, this card won't be any good by the time you see this video because I'm running it in 30 minutes. Um, down here, you see the lockout service was what was called for here and just for fun we'll go ahead and update this one to show you how that works because this motor club didn't put in a amount for this call so we're going to look at it and see what it is in my email and where is the amount okay so in this particular case this lockout was for thirty dollars there we go and then you put that in now your grand total will be thirty dollars for this call um you can add services there's some stuff that's pre-filled in here but you can always just type in anything you want that i can spell and then just tab in and say i have two of them and they're ten bucks now it's fifty dollars uh, easy way to get rid of that is just like that just choose the uh, top item in the list and it'll just make it go away so in that case right here we've gone and modified the call save it now it updates and it's at thirty dollars um next here you can see the receipt function so you can go ahead the invoice total the balance due you can view a receipt you can download pdf you can choose the height of charges hide discounts hide link to photos you can print it or you can email it. So you can send this to whomever. You can send it to your customer if you want. Here again, you can email. You can just enter an email address. You can add a message here. If you have, um, I'm pretty sure you have your Square account set up for that, but you can include a link for people to pay online. So say you have a call and you're like, yeah, I'm going to come out and do it, but XYZ, you need to pay before I leave. Then you can use that. You can hide charges. You can hide discounts you can hide links to photos um 
you can include files here, which I would not do because this is just the uh, dispatch files that came across from the Motor Club. Then if you choose to, you can go ahead and pull that up on a map and get a view of, uh, say for instance, where you're at to how far it is from you. So you can get an ETA right there. And that'll just pop open. You'll be able to see any photos that were added here on this call. You can see there's some photos here. This was a lockout. So we're taking pictures of everything that, you know, could possibly be damaged. Always good to get that done when you go out on a call. And then also we have uh, captured the signature there. All of the photos have GPS tags in it. So that shows that we were there and we did do the job. Um, I'm not going to undo complete the job, but if you needed to, for some reason, you could do that there. Then you can kind of go through here and you can look at the history of the call. And this will show you when it was created, you know, how it all came in and everything. It'll show you the whole history of everything that happened on that call. You go here, you can delete it. You can duplicate it if you needed to, for some reason, you can print it. Dang it. There we go. You can print it. You can find um, files. What that does is you open it up and you'll see the files that are associated with it. And these are the same ones we saw a minute ago from the Motor Club. So we're not going to do anything with those. Damage forms and accident reports. The damage forms are pretty simple. You just kind of, if there's some damage, pre-existing damage to the vehicle, you document it with pictures and you get the customer to sign it. And, you know, acknowledging the pre-existing damage. If for some reason that something happens and there is damage caused by yourself or a driver, then you want to document that as well and get it signed by the customer and you're going to have to deal with that. Accident reports, same kind of thing. If there's an accident you you and you have this feature, you just pop into that and it will show you all the information that your driver uploaded from the mobile app. You can push to QuickBooks. You can, like, say, for instance, if you go to payments, if you've received the payment for this, you can say, I record, record a payment of $30. You know, it was paid in full. Uh, the reference number for that payment, we'll just use this for right now. And how it was paid, it was paid by a, I believe they use a MasterCard. So I could say, let's record a payment on that. So record the payment. Enzo. So there's that. And then you can view the account, which is going to take you over to somewhere. I have the slowest internet in the world. So give me a moment here. Spinning. stop that let's let that work in the background the replay like i told you i don't have that set up but if you see how this little guy's moving it'll just kind of show you how your driver when and where they were at when they did that call then customer survey you can send out surveys to customers to get reviews which is you know would be helpful um again accident reports we'll look at it just to see it here but well, that's loading. You can go view account. And what'll, what'll happen here is you're going to come into that roadside protect account and it'll show you your, uh, it'll be here somewhere. We're going to let that spin and this is spinning as well. Yeah, this is not Tobuk issue. This is Justin has crap internet at his house issue. Yeah. All right, well, we're not going to sit here and spin. Um, so anyways, view account, it'll take you over to an uh, overview of all the accounts that uh, calls you have with that particular account. Look, now it wants to load. Oh, we were looking at accident reports. See if that loads real quick. If it doesn't, we're going to wrap this part of the video up and move on. Mm, and that's a negative. Probably not working because I don't have that. 
Okay. So anyways, those are kind of how you would go through and work through and edit a call or whatever, and different functions that are available to you in there. The modify here is going to get you the same thing. The update status is going to give you the opportunity to update the status of an in-process call. And if we do one of these videos, or what we can do is here, we'll just create a call. Um, text and lane here, we'll just use that. And then what else do we have to have in here? So we're going to create a call. Now you see it comes into current waiting there. So update status is another one that's going to be showing up here when you have an active call. And what that is, is that you can say you can update the status to dispatch to a driver in route on scene towing completed. So if we push it through that process there, you can see it was dispatched. We'll go just in update. Okay. So now that call has been notified and it becomes active and it's dispatched. The next status would be in route. And it kind of chooses that next logical status for you as well. Did we get it there? What happened? There. Come on. In route update. What the heck? So, oh, there it goes. So when it's in route, it turns green. That's what I wanted you to see here. And then when you go to on scene, change it to darker green and I think I changed these colors myself personally towing has its own color and then the final update which you can do by either just clicking complete or update status and then you say complete verify everything's done 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 and you have completed call so what happens is you end up with a call over here that isn't really real so we're just going to delete it, but that's kind of the process for um, updating that. And you see over here, what happened was we had some on scene, on scene status updates. So if your dispatcher is sitting here at the table, uh, you know, at the desk and they're managing your calls, then they're going to know, okay, someone was on scene. So you can have it update you when it's on scene, it's completed, if they're towing, and that can kind of give your dispatcher a little bit of heads up so they know, you know, what they're dealing with. Uh, as far as how they can route further calls to other drivers based on what their predicted avail availabilities will be. That's going to wrap it up. Um, if you think Tillbook's cool or if you think I added some value here, there's going to be a link down there somewhere. It's an affiliate link. If you click it, I get a free month of Tillbook and you get to use some of the best software that I've found for roadside assistance. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to like and subscribe, awesome. If not, totally cool. I'm getting enough notifications myself every day. You guys have a good one and I appreciate you. Bye.